Uh, here he's uh, enjoying his girlfriend, his beautiful girlfriend, respectfully. Break, break, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Welcome to another episode of The Clinch Review. If you have it already, please like and subscribe. Much appreciated. You saw the title of the video, so you already know what we're talking about. Is Hector Luis Garcia the perfect trap for Javante Davis? Let's be clear, Tank will be a sizable favorite come fight night, and for good reason. Uh, let's look at the measurables real quick. Uh, the main thing that jumps out at me is the height advantage. Uh, Garcia will have a three and a half inch height advantage, so he will be the bigger guy, uh, at least height wise on fight night. Uh, keep in mind, he is coming up from the lower weight, uh, so we'll see if that plays a part. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to talk about the great display of professionalism by Garcia. His last fight was December 18th, 2021 versus Isaac Avalar. He got the call to fight Chris Colbert on February 26th on a three weeks notice. He could have easily turned it down and who could blame him, right? Uh, I know we, we know the result of the fight, but Chris Colbert is no walking apart. It's easy to say this, that, and the third right now. But at the time, we thought that would be a very good fight. And it was. And I think a lot of people uh, probably gave Colbert the edge, right? And uh, you could understand if Garcia said, nah, three, three weeks and you want me to fight him? Nah, I can't do it. You know, but Garcia said, let's get it. You know, let's do it. You know, and before this fight uh, with Colbert, you know, Garcia was chilling. You know, he just had probably one of the best years of his career as a pro, you know, won his first title. Um, I actually went to his Instagram to see, you know, what he was doing around that time. So here in December, uh, the 27th, 2021, uh, not too long after the fight with Avella, you can see him here uh, enjoying a nice glass of wine. Uh, not quite sure what he's doing, but, you know, looks like he's kicking back and enjoying some downtime. Uh, here he's uh, enjoying his girlfriend, his beautiful girlfriend, respectfully, you know, probably getting some quality time in that he wasn't able to get, you know, while he was training. Here he is all dressed up, looked like he went out for a nice evening. Uh, but the main idea is, you know, he was, you know, chilling, enjoying his year, probably preparing for a great 2023, you know, but but the mission call, right, the, the main goal, and he got back to it. He said, let's get it. You know, as it relates to the fight itself, this could absolutely be a trap fight for Javante Davis, especially when he's got the big fight with Ryan Garcia in the background. Uh, not really sure uh, why he scheduled uh, him and Garcia scheduled fights before they fought each other, you know, but it's boxing. It is what it is. Um, as far as styles, I would call Tank a power sharpshooter. You know, he's looking to sharpshoot that power. Uh, what I mean is, you know, he's looking to use his boxing skills, looking to use his distance, you know, stay just in range for offense, but out of range uh, defensively. Um, and, and land the power. You know, we saw that in his past couple fights. We saw it with Santa Cruz. You know, it was in the perfect range, you know, to land a missile of an uppercut. And we also saw it with Rolly Romero, you know, counter punching off the ropes. You know, showed his incredible timing, you know, against Rolly. Uh, but that's really tank strength and he fights to it. You know, he knows if he can land one or two, you know, he'll probably take you out. And so he, he tries to fight to that strength often as he should. As far as Garcia, a lot of his strength, I believe, is his relentlessness. Uh, he's also a sneaky good counterpuncher. He landed a lot on Chris Colbert, a lot of counterpunches, and actually put him down with a counterpunch. Uh, he's, he's very skilled. He fought in the 2016 Olympics. He won his first major title this year, so his confidence is through the roof. You know, it could be a very dangerous fight for Tank, uh, potentially. I think it'll be a very entertaining fight for as long as it lasts. You got two... Uh, different styles. You got the boxer puncher, so to speak, and you got the, the pressure fighter, I believe, in Garcia. You know, so it should make for a fan friendly fight, you know, for as long as the fight goes on. Uh, but what do y'all think? Y'all think, you know, this is a fight that could trip Javante up, or you think he'll, he'll take care of him, no problem. As always, appreciate you checking out the Crunch Review. See you next time. Peace. Break, break, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch.